All right, folks. Uh, let's talk about the Shadow Guide 23 versus the Synapse 25. So um, very quickly, the Synapse 25 is probably Tom Bin's most ubiquitous, most well-known bag. Uh, and, and it is for good reason. It is a it is a organization beast. It is comfortable to carry. It is uh, big enough for everyday travel and uh, or everyday carry and uh, some ultralight travel, if you uh, if that's the thing you like to do. Uh, and then of course we have the Shadow Guide, which uh, is the derivative of the Guides Pack that was uh, retired for a while uh, and then brought back by demand. Uh, and they didn't just make a 33, they made a 23. So I wanted to compare the 23 and the Synapse 25. And it's all going to boil down to a couple of things. It's going to boil down to organization, and it's going to boil down to, you know, accessorizing. How much do you want to accessorize? So uh, here I have a Synapse in Constellation Solaris, uh, which I think is probably the one of the better better color combinations uh, for this bag. I bought this just to just to have because I think it's a really awesome looking bag. And then of course we have the minimalist style um, black and gray shadow guide. And um, both bags are great, but again, it's gonna boil down. Your use of them, your love of them is gonna boil down to organization. So I'm gonna pack these as if I am, uh, as if I am doing a, sort of an everyday carry kind of scenario. So couple of big differences between these bags. Uh, first of all, this, the Shadow Guide, the newer Shadow Guide, has the internal laptop compartment, as you can see here. And that is going to be probably one of the main differences, is that the, the, the Synapse, if you don't carry a laptop, might be better for you. You could just ignore the pocket. Uh, if you don't carry a laptop every day, uh, simply because it doesn't have a laptop compartment, you have to add that on separately. And I'll show you what that looks like. Um, both of them have the edgeless straps, uh, so these are really comfortable, especially as these things fill up. As I've mentioned before, I'm a big fan of the bound straps on a bag like the Synapse for everyday carry, uh, but I think the edgeless straps are great. They're certainly very padded and comfortable, and you get the same edgeless straps uh, with both. You'll notice on the back grid here that this one has these little contours. I think that this is a sort of experimental design labs feature uh, that kind of raises the grid uh, from part of your back and these channels allow air to come in and allow you to breathe. It's, uh, especially if you uh, sweat a lot on your back, that has to be more comfortable than this sort of more basic grid, um, which is a perfectly functional grid, but uh, you, do get the, uh, you do get the slightly better uh, grid here uh, that sits against your back. And, and, and in terms of comfort, I don't really notice the difference. I don't notice much of a difference, uh, but I also don't usually ex carry my backpacks for an extended period of time. Uh, both of them come with these uh, waist buckles here. This one's slightly bigger. Um, and this, the Shadow Guide, much like the Cynic, has an internal frame uh, that comes with it, and that's sort of built into the price. Uh, the Synapse, if you don't want an internal frame, it doesn't come with one. So you're, uh, you know, paying less for, you're paying less for that, uh, but you can buy one optionally, and I'll show you what that looks like. So this one, it's, this one in the, the Shadow Guide 23, it's sort of just stuck in there, uh, and you can get it out. I haven't tried, but it's not held in there by, uh, by a lot, so I think you just push down and then you uh, sort of slide it out, although I have not tried. Uh, this one, it has an internal frame uh, that is part of the, that you can attach. I don't have it attached here, but it attaches to the cash loops here and here. Um, the uh, Tom Ben has always kind of referred to this as a uh, kludgy way of putting an internal frame in the backpack, but functionally speaking, I think that it works super well. I I is it the prettiest to look at? No, but I really am a function over uh, fashion kind of person. Um, so you can buy this, and I think this is 25, 30, 35 bucks. Um, so already we've got, I think, uh, gosh, I don't know, it's either 270 or 280 for the 23, uh, and it is 220 for the Synapse. So now you've, you're up to 245. Now, if you want to carry a laptop, you add on a cache. This is a cache, uh, and these run about 50 bucks. And they use the, uh, the ra these uh, cache loops here. They go in here and they attach to this, these cache loops right here. So if you don't have TSA PreCheck, I do, so this is not a thing that I usually do. 
uh, I, I never take my back my laptop out of my bag. Uh, you can slide up with these rails. These these have these rails on the back if you're not familiar with them, and you can kind of slide it up and out, and that is considered taking your laptop out. Although it depends on your TSA agent as well. So this runs you an additional fifty bucks. So now you're up to if you get the internal frame here, you're almost up to two ninety five. So now you've got you know they're priced very similarly at that point. Um, so, a couple of reasons I would pick one over the other, and I'll show you how I pack them in, how I pack each of them. Uh, I would pick this if I was lo love organization. Tom Bin has some of the best organization system that you can buy. Uh, it's it's very uh, all of their bags sort of um, they they they. they uh, they have this sort of like b b add your own organization, uh, except the Synapse, of course, just has a ton of great organization to begin with. So it's got these big pockets. This is usually where I would put my um, my uh, spiff kit. Zip that up. You can see it's very full. Um, and, and I can do that partially because uh, they recently, in the last couple of years, narrowed this internal pocket, this thing up here that holds a water bottle really well and holds it vertically. That would be a, a big reason if you're a big water bottle person and you want it to be held vertically, uh, you would choose the Synapse, I would think, for that. Uh, over the Shadow Guide where, you know, I would just put it in the main compartment, but some people wouldn't feel comfortable with that. Um, so they narrowed these internal pockets quite a bit. You can see that this thing just has a huge amount of room. This is a huge pocket. The, this this pocket looks is much bigger than it actually looks. Um, and then, of course, you've got the smaller pocket for knickknacks, and it's about, i get out the old tape measure, you know, about six and a half inches deep. Um, so, and then I usually, for my bottom pocket here, this is where I would put uh, a handy little thing, which usually I carry around the bigger one in this bag, but this fit, smaller one fits nicely. I probably could put it in this side pocket here. Um, and then, of course, the Freudian slip. Uh, this Freudian slip is designed for S25, Synapse 25. I'm just going to slip it in there, and you can see it just fits nicely. But you can see that I know it's kind of hard because the lighting, uh, we're starting to use a lot of the internal space of the bag on a cache system. Uh, the internal frame doesn't really add that much. It actually adds some structure and I feel like opens the bag up a little more. Uh, but we're starting to get up, get a, get a little constrained here. Um, so I'm going to put my iPad. I usually, I sometimes, I used to actually hang it off these other rails. I love this cache rail system, uh, that the, the fact that there's two. Uh, I used to hang them off of that. I just don't anymore. I just put them in there. And then I just put these, put this into here. This is actually a, a designed for a 15-inch MacBook Pro Retina, but it fits the 16 pretty well. Quarters are exposed. No big deal. So let's see. That is how I would pack it for everyday carry. Uh... So, does it work? It works really great. Uh, do I love the organization? Absolutely. Uh, is it something that I am super obsessed with? Definitely not. Uh, I think that the organization, especially if you have lots of knickknacks and you love to organize your bags, I can tell you that my fav one of my favorite parts of going traveling is the actual packing. And I'm sure some of you really love, you know, going in and just like organizing it exactly. And this is a great bag if you want to do that. Contrast it with the Shadow Guide 23. Let's start moving things over. Uh, oh, almost forgot Bose headphones. They just go, you know, slap those right in there in the main pocket. Uh, and you can tell it's a little misshapen. Uh, I usually don't have anything in this other pocket here. Um, okay, so let's start taking things out, and I will show you how I would pack these in the, S20, the SG23. So let's start with this top pocket, which I find is super handy, uh, especially when I, I was on a plane recently with this, and it was really handy. So I'm going to put that in there. And I put my Bose headphones in there. And that's pretty much it. This is all the stuff that I really need to be able to access in a hurry. If I were going on an airplane uh, for more than a few hours and I needed my toiletry kit for whatever reason, I would probably take this and put that in, in here. But if I'm just going to be on a plane for a couple of hours, I'm not going to bother. But this will fit in here, and then this pocket will be pretty pretty full, and not to mention that it will make this pocket top-heavy, which when you load out the rest of the bag, doesn't really seem to matter too much. Um, I, and I don't know if this is recommended or not, um, I take my laptop and iPad, and I just put them in the same pocket. Um, so I'm going to put this in just straight in like this, and then I'm going to put my iPad in right here. Zip that up. It's a little bit of a tight fit, but it works. 
And uh, I, I, it does it does kind of stretch this out a little bit, but it's not so much that I would feel worried about damaging this over the long term. I'm not usually going to be carrying these in there for a very extended period of time. And then, of course, the Freudian slip comes out, and it will go right into the main pocket here. Put that in. Cinch this up. And there you go. So, conclusion. Organization, sort of free-flowing, if you see in my other travel video, um, that I, uh, I, I, I was able to pack a, a good amount of, I, I, I didn't even try that hard. I, it wasn't actually that many clothes, to be honest with you. Uh, but I was able to pack it in very easily. This one, I, I would probably struggle to pack this in. I'm not a big fan of this bag for ultralight travel. I just don't. I usually, I almost always, if I travel, I pair this with, I will pair a backpack with like a night flight travel duffel or something along those lines. Uh, something that really enables me to put clothes where they belong in sort of a more square uh, structured bag or at least a bag that has a lot of room that opens up quite a bit. This one opens up nicely, but it, as far as organizing like clothes in it as well, it's just not for me and I don't think it's very comfortable. This bag, I feel, I felt, you know, carrying it through the airport, it was heavy, but the edgeless straps uh, and the, the layout of the bag really spoke to that sort of, you know, two, three, four night travel. Um, for everyday carry, I would tend to use either. It really just depends on my mood. Uh, I own several synapses. Uh, this is just the one that I'll probably not use if, if, if I ever do. This one's just a collection piece because I love the colorway. Um, and there's a reason I own so many uh, synapses. I love uh, lots of different things about them. Um, in particular, the synapse comes can come in halcyon, uh, black halcyon, or uh, I think white halcyon was recently... or. Uh, original uh, Black Halcyon was uh, re recently retired. Um, and that would tend to make for a slightly lighter bag, right? Uh, whereas this is just all, you know, ballistic construction, including uh, 1050. So you, you could make the argument that this bag is a little bit tougher, but functionally speaking, I don't think it's any tougher than the Synapse. So overall, organization, just throw stuff in. And of course, we got to talk style, right? Uh, this minimalist style really speaks to me. Uh, but the Tom Bin bag also kind of, the, it, 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 this, it, it looks a little minimalist. Uh, it can, anyways, especially when it's uh, uh, black uh, ballistic and it just sort of hides the zips really well. Um, both are great bags. Um, if you have any questions, uh, please leave them in the comments below. Uh, oh, another thing I would mention is if you have a laptop, absolutely, uh, and you like the internal, like you either need to buy a cache, so you got to build that into the price here. Uh, if you don't already have a sleeve for it uh, and you want to use the cache system, whereas this just has the internal laptop compartment. And of course, it comes with the internal frame as well, uh, whereas this is another add-on. So once you factor those two things in, the price of the bags are roughly the same. And it really just boils down to uh, which do you think you would enjoy using more. So if you have any other questions, any other clarifying questions, please put them in the comments below. Thanks a lot for watching.